Hello, it's Rich Rosen, founder and CEO of FastCall, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about options for phones in Click2Call. Uh, we do have a separate deep dive on the phone tab in Salesforce, uh, but in this particular video, I'm just really going to focus on phones that are available for Click2Call, and really I'm going to talk about uh, our SIP phone option, which we've had for uh, quite a while. It's been oh, maybe six months or so, um, but I don't think that it's an option that is uh, often used by our subscribers, and I just wanted to talk about it. Um, so you are familiar. I'm actually in Sales Console here, but you're certainly familiar with the uh, Fast Call application. It's here in the footer in Console uh, in a standard Salesforce page layout. It'll be over here in your sidebar. Uh, but inside the application, we're giving you a couple of options for your phones, uh, soft phone, click-to-call office phone, in this case it's a mobile, um, that's a SIP phone, and then any other phones that could be, um, in my account I just have a couple of test phones, but that could be conference room or even another office, say New York, Chicago, Berlin, London. Um, so let's talk about the uh, SIP phone option. Um, so inside our application, the uh, SIP phone is added uh, as a user phone under user settings. Uh, there's actually nothing else that needs to be enabled for uh, SIP phone. There's no admin settings that needs to enable uh, the SIP phone. The user just adds this as a phone uh, under the um, under my phones. Now that said, um, there's nothing that the admin needs to, needs to do to set up the SIP phone, but it is actually pretty complicated to set up um, and it's something that should be done by your IT person. Uh, FastCall will be as helpful as we can, but this is something that is advanced and um, will need to be set up by an IT person in your office. Uh, so a SIP phone, so what is SIP? So SIP is Session Initiation Protocol. It is a VoIP protocol, Voice over IP protocol. Uh, and a SIP phone is an IP phone. I myself have a Cisco IP phone on my desk, a three-line phone on my desk. Um, I actually bought it on Amazon, uh, and it was 50 bucks, I think, maybe 70 um, But I use it. I use it with Twilio. I do use my Cisco IP phone um, with a Plantronics headset, and it is awesome. I also have a desk phone. Um, on my desk for standard click to call. It's an AT&T phone. I got it at Costco. Um, and I actually use that with an AT&T wireless phone. Um, I think both Plantronics and the AT&T headsets are 2.4 megahertz. Uh, they're pretty basic office headsets. Uh, they actually look very similar in design. One is Plantronics and one is uh, AT&T. Um, but I do use the SIP phone with the Cisco IP phone, which is a pretty standard office phone. Um, so a SIP address is essentially um, an IP address. So this is the SIP address that I use. Um, in my own account, it's uh, SIP hyphen my name um, at my IP address um, and um, the port that is opened on my router. Um, this particular uh, setup um, is going through a uh, small office router. Chances are um, you don't have the same uh, small office router that we have here, uh, but um, but that's the the that's what a SIP address looks like. Um, I'm not going to show it here. Uh, I will probably scare the bejesus out of you if I did. But uh, the setup page for the Cisco phone is horrific and complicated um, and you know something that should only be um, worked on by a, uh, a highly skilled Cisco technician um, but that's essentially what you're doing here so anyway uh, stop babbling so you, you you add the phone number like you would any other um, you know SIP phone um, you just give the give the phone a name uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, but in this case, you're not going to give a phone number. You're going to give it SIP. Uh, so there's no phone number here. You you may or may not have... Uh, oh, no, I take that back. The phone number is your SIP address. Um, so you're going to add... It says phone number here, but you're actually going to add your SIP address here, um, which, again, in my case, would be SIP Rich 
dot rosen rich dot rosen is the uh, username that i've assigned in my cisco phone so the rich dot rosen um, is set up chances are your if you have a ip phone and if you don't none of this really matters you shouldn't be watching this video uh, but if you do have an ip phone uh, your ip phone already has uh, a username associated to it the, the ip phone has to have uh, a sip address because that's how your network knows to call it um, so you or whoever manages that IP phone uh, in your office will have that uh, information. So uh, so you add the uh, SIP address here where it says phone number. Uh, I'm not going to add another. Um, if you have a SIP username and password, you add that here. You type insert, and it'll show up here as one of your phones. Uh, and then again, when you are making a call, it's going to show up as a phone option. Uh, so a SIP phone is a soft phone, essentially. Um, I take that back. It's actually the opposite. Um, the soft phone in our application is technically a SIP phone. Um, I, I consider the entire application a soft phone because the entire application um, is software and is a software phone. There's no hardware associated with fast call. So I, I do consider our entire application a soft phone. Uh, the more generally accepted term for soft phone is the headset and a browser. Um, the SIP phone and the soft phone are both fairly similar um, in that they both are not using your hard phone. Um, the soft phone is ringing your browser um, directly. So when the call um, is coming to the user first, it rings the user on that phone um, directly. And, um, and uh, the SIP phone works the same way. So it's calling the user on that um, either soft phone or SIP phone directly. It's not dialing out to a 10-digit phone number um, to connect to a user like Click2Call does. It's calling the user directly, and therefore it's a little bit faster, um, a split second faster. But it is a little bit faster. It is noticeable, a little, a little bit noticeably faster on Click2Call. You know, of course, it's calling the user first and ringing the user, so it could ring a few times. Uh, both the soft phone and the SIP phone are just a little quicker. Because uh, they're cutting out that entire leg of going out to the public um, phone network to dial you on your phone number. It's just connecting to you immediately, either on the soft phone or the SIP phone. Um, so both of those options, soft phone, SIP phone, are using your office network for the user leg. And consequently, Twilio uh, is charging you um, 0 0.025 per minute for that leg versus one and a half um, for the click to call leg. So, so the soft phone and SIP phone both are a penny a minute cheaper with Twilio. Um, so it's, it's, it's a little bit less expensive. It is a bit faster. Um, and in some instances it just might be more efficient. And if you do have an IP phone sitting on your desk, um, and you're using it or like I did, um, I went out to Amazon and I bought one. It was definitely less than hundred dollars. It was either between fifty and seventy. Um, you can do a quick search, Cisco, and I, I got the three-line phone. There are sort of one-line phone versions of this. Um, I could, you know, I haven't tried to set this up um, with all three lines. I only use just you know, for for my particular case, um, and it's actually important to note. Um, the way that I have my Cisco IP phone set up, there is no SIP provider. Um, so my Cisco IP phone only works in Salesforce and only works with FastCall and only works with Twilio. Um, I can click the speaker and get a dial tone, uh, but it's not going to go anywhere. My, the phone is only going to work um, with, uh, with FastCall, but for me, that's perfectly fine. If I need to make any other call, I've got a mobile phone and I do actually have another desk phone on my desk. Um, I can show you if you want to see um, real fast what a what a call looks like. Um, so that's important to note. So I do um, uh, I do have so I, I, I do only use that phone um, inside Salesforce, and uh, but it works great. And uh, you know it took a, a little while to get it set up. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to set up, but once it's set up, it does work great, and it is a little quicker. So you notice here, I've got the VoIP phone, my caller ID. Uh, that's just my mobile phone. So you'll see, you can hear, that's the Cisco IP phone. Uh, I answer it. So I would answer it just like I would with click to call though it dialed a little bit faster, and that's it. So now I'm making 
uh, an outbound call to my mobile phone. So nothing else is different. Uh, I've called the mobile phone. I'll, I'll do that one more time just so you can see it. Um, matter of fact, I could probably even uh, show you. Um, here's the office phone if I came over here and dialed. You know, so, I mean, that rang pretty quick as well. I mean, they're, they're both ringing pretty much immediately. Um, but the, um, this, the IP phone, again, can be a tiny bit faster. Uh, and, you know, just for purposes, I'll do one more with the uh, IP phone. Yeah. So yeah. So it was faster. I mean, it was. It's a split second, but it definitely is faster. Um, it's connecting immediately over the network, and you know, same connection here. So uh, so that's that. So I just want to talk about. It. I realized that I had never uh, actually done a video to really talking about the IP phone. This is a little longer than I thought, but um, you know, again, the the, the setup is um, is a little bit more complicated, so maybe the longer video sort of prepares you for that. But it's a great option. Um, the call quality should be uh, certainly better or as good as the soft phone. There's no reason it's going to be worse than the soft phone. It probably will be a, um, a tiny little bit better. You know, for me, in my setup, um, I'm using a better headset on the so on the SIP phone. I'm using that Plantronics headset. So uh, when I'm on the soft phone, um, I generally tend not to use the Bluetooth headset. You can. I, I don't really like it. Um, the uh, Plantronics headset gives me, uh, I think, two or 300 feet range, and the Bluetooth is only uh, 10 meters. Um, but yeah, so the call quality, I think, is probably a tiny little bit better on the uh, on the SIP phone. Um, in my particular case, it's certainly as good as my click-to-call. Um, it is a it is still a SIP connection, um, so I'm not going to claim that it's, as, it's going to necessarily be the same as your office phone but it probably is going to be pretty close okay well so that's the video if you have any uh questions uh shoot me an email and we uh we can talk about it